Uh, my name is Wek Meliwek. I was born and raised up in South Sudan. And therefore, I am a South Sudanese. Uh, what I love about myself is my height. I'm a very tall guy and I'm the tallest in the class, or in even Britu Rwanda, the entire Britu Rwanda. So I can be described by only three words. Uh, the first one is uh, hard working. I believe working hard is the only success. It is the only key that can bring success in life. And uh, I developed this when I was in in my village when I was a very young boy. When I started my education, my school, my primary school was uh, two hours from where I lived and I could uh, walk every day on foot, going there and coming back. And uh, that one, it uh, really helped me uh, to know that uh, going to school and coming back is because I'm, I'm hard working. If I was lazy, I could have given up. You know, you cannot manage to go there and you come back every day. And uh, you know the climate of South Sudan. South Sudan is a, a semi-arid country and the climate is also hot. And so I developed that one when I was young and I am used to it. I am hard working. I feel like to work hard every day. The other word that you can describe me is uh, love. I am I'm a loving person. I love people and I love uh, anything that I'm doing. Because I believe uh, if you do anything uh, with uh, passion and love, you are able to make it. You can succeed, definitely. Uh, the third and the last is uh, uh, persistence. I believe uh, persistence is the, the greatest uh, and uh, the most important aspect of uh, a successful human being. Uh, there are so many challenges in life. and. If you are able to persist all these challenges, you will definitely succeed. And uh, sometimes other people describe me with uh, different uh, words, but uh, these are the commonly words that someone can describe me. Uh, the first is uh, hard working, the second is love, and the third is persistence. At the university, I want to study economics. My country, South Sudan, is a blessed nation with uh, many natural resources. Uh, however, the government of South Sudan is uh, focusing on uh, oil only, leaving other natural resources like livestock. And uh, now the economy of the country is dependent. Uh, it, it, it depends on only the oil. And once the crisis, like the crisis that are happening in the country, the economy collapses. Uh, for me, I want to go and study economics so that I come back and I really help my South Sudanese in uh, the field of economy. And uh, by helping them, I have to know first which challenges are they facing individually, not uh, nationally. In my observation, when I observe South Sudanese, I see them people who are really interested in doing great things in future, but they, they don't know how to do it. They are not shown the way. There are no great economists to conduct the economic program so that they can uh, synthesize the population about the importance of economics. One of the observations is that my South Sudanese, who are even working in the government, leave alone the traders. The people who are working in the government, few of them have uh, bank accounts, saving accounts, but the majority of them, they don't have a saving account. Instead, they keep their money in the banks in their houses. And keeping the money in the house does not uh, uh, add anything because there's no simple interest in keeping your money in your own bank in your house. And, uh, and uh, as a result, the money that an individual has is always the money that remains with him or her because it does not grow. Uh, another thing that is uh, very common with uh, my South Sudanese is uh, thinking that having money means you buy anything that uh, you don't have. Like my South Sudanese who have money now, uh, they, they are using money in a way that cannot even benefit them, live alone the entire nation. People who have money uh, get to buy very expensive cars. Like if you go to city now, uh, Juba city, which is the city of South Sudan, there are many hammers moving on the road. 
and that is uh, something which is very rare in countries where economy is really understood. So South Sudan and needs uh, people who can really encourage economic by conducting uh, economic programs and investment programs so that uh, the people of South Sudan will be aware that this is the way that we can manage our resources and uh, that one will help the nation and it will eradicate the poverty in the nation. And the most interesting book I have read this year is The Scarlet Letter. The Scarlet Letter has uh, helped me to, to see things uh, outside the box. When I was in my country, South Sudan, I thought a woman who has committed adultery should be outcast in the society, as it is in my country. However, when I come to read uh, uh, the Scarlet Letter, I, I was able to see some of the things which are really bad in outcasting the adulterer. So in the book, uh, the woman committed an adultery and uh, she was outcast from the society. She was uh, living with uh, her daughter outside the city and uh, people disrespected uh, them and, and that one dis did not uh, affect her who committed the adultery. In actual sense, it affected the child and uh, that one was too bad because the child did not uh, do anything. It is the mother that uh, committed the adultery. And uh, at the end, the thing turned to be the crime of the child, where the child was uh, not respected and she was not comfortable in the society. And as a result, at the end, she was able, the child, she was able to escape to Europe where she could uh, find comfort. And for that reason, I see it as uh, something which is against human rights because uh, the child did not do anything and at the end she was the victim of the uh, crime that the mother committed. So for me, I think adultery is not something that should be taken as, as, serious, as, as serious as it can affect the, the, the entire family. It should be on the neck of the person who committed it. And for that reason, I don't, I don't see the reason that the, the reason the, the whole society should outcast the adulterer, as it is in my society, now I hate it. And at the beginning, I did not uh, know anything, and I thought it was a great culture. But today, the scarlet letter that I have read this year has changed my per per perception about the, the adultery in my society. The crime of adultery should not be as serious as it can affect the, the entire family. It should be based on the uh, person who has committed the adultery. And so that's why the Scarlet Letter is my favorite book. It has uh, changed my perception. Uh, my past year was uh, very to Rwanda was very great. Uh, when I come here, I I didn't know more about uh, the war, but uh, reaching very to Rwanda, I was able to read many books and I understood many things. And uh, one of the exciting things that. I, I like uh, about Greek to Rwanda is the way that it has uh, trained us to be leaders. Like uh, every day we, we, we are developing, we develop ourselves. Uh, if I look back at uh, where I was when I arrived here and I compare it with uh, where I am today, I see a great difference and I really like uh, to keep developing and it is through Greek to Rwanda that uh, I am who I am today because uh, at the beginning I was not like this and I am able to know much than I had at the beginning. So Brie to Rwanda is uh, a very great place to live in and it has shaped my life and I have learned a lot from uh, Brie to Rwanda. Uh, my time in high school in South Sudan was uh, really very nice. It was a great time. Uh, I did my high school in one of the uh, one of the respected school in my town. The school was called Standard Secondary School. Uh, what was good about my high school is that I I was uh, friends to my teachers. Uh, they knew me very well, and I was uh, so good uh, in going to them. I get to talk with them every day, and they were able to help me throughout my high school. Anything that I wanted or anything that uh, 
I suffered from, I, I would get some uh, pieces of advice from them. Uh, actually, that helped me a lot because uh, when I got to interact with the teachers, I was able to, to do well in high school, especially on my national exam. Uh, the thing that I discussed with them were the ones that were coming. So they came in the national exam and I was able to do well and I managed to be the first person in the whole country and that was great. So my high school was more than, 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 than excellent. 